Hey there, my name is uh, Patrick McNeil, and I just wanted to give you a quick preview or overview, if you will, of um, my newest uh, How University course called Wireframes and Prototypes for Interactive Design. This is uh, another course in my series on UX design practices or user-centered design uh, sort of ideas. And uh, wireframes and prototypes are a pretty important piece of that puzzle. And it's something that uh, many people sort of dabble in, but they don't necessarily put a lot of strategy in. And the, most people I find don't even realize the full range of options that are actually out there. So in this four week course, we cover a ton of ground. We've got about five hours of video-based training, so hopefully um, um, you prefer video because it's all uh, all the material is contained in video, of course, um, and it, it actually moves along quite well. So it's five hours, uh, but those are split into about 35 little miniature videos, so they tend to be very focused. You can go back to the ones that you prefer to listen to. You don't have to dig through five hours of lecture to find the one that you sort of interest you. So it's real incremental and it sort of steps you through many different topics that relate to uh, wireframes and prototyping. Um, along the way, we cover a number of topics, obviously concepts and strategies for using wireframes and prototypes, right? Like we think we talk real strategically about how they can be used in our, our the life cycle of our product and how we can use them to facilitate ideas and brainstorming and certainly uh, uh, lead towards usability testing, right? Um, we talk about paper prototyping, actually using sort of printed paper prototypes instead of real uh, digital interactive ones. We look at creating sort of clickable paper prototypes so you can turn sketches into clickable prototypes in a real easy way and we look at some tools and methods for doing that. Um, we talk about uh, testing of paper prototypes because believe it or not, you can actually do usability testing on paper prototypes, which is kind of uh, a crazy idea for some. We talk, uh, we spend a whole week actually on responsive web design as it relates to wireframes and prototypes. Um, I find that to be one of the most popular sort of topics that I tend to talk about. So I think you'll get great value out of that. Um, I'm a huge fan of Axure. And so we're going to look at and talk about Axure. And don't worry if you don't own Axure. You can get a 30-day license, um, like a demo version that will more than suffice for this course. And if you like it, you can buy it. If not, uh, at least you had the practice. And the idea is you develop in using that tool apply elsewhere quite well. In particular, we're going to look at using Axure for responsive web design. So that's kind of exciting. Um, we'll look at uh, take a sort of a detailed look at a number of tools beyond Axure that we can use for wireframing and prototyping. So it'll open up your uh, sort of options to many different possibilities and uh, sort of key resources. There's a huge amount of useful links in this uh, course. Um, and then finally, we'll do some really super simple testing for wireframes. Everybody thinks of testing prototypes, but uh, it's, I find that less people consider testing their wireframes out. And then we can actually do this in really simple and practical ways. And so we'll sort of finish off the course uh, with that idea and exercising and actually doing a simple test. Uh, so the projects real briefly, what we're going to do uh, project-wise. Uh, in week one, we are focused on wireframes, and we'll actually uh, implement this through uh, wireframing a mobile app and I will give you sort of the project charter and direction and all the guidance to do that of course and week two we'll take our prototypes and turn them into clickable paper prototypes that we can then test out the screen to screen interactions in week three we actually do three different projects and this one tends to be um, a very busy week we uh, wireframes we produce wireframes for responsive web design Oh, I should say week three is essentially all about responsive web design. Um, and then we take our first stab at prototyping with Axure, which leads us up to using Axure um, to produce a responsive web design prototype slash wireframe. Um, so week three is really about responsive web design and Axure. And then finally, in week four, we look at uh, various tools, um, but then uh, um, the homework project, if you will, is uh, all about testing an actual wireframe and doing simple usability testing. And I think you'll find it quite approachable and uh, easy to do. So in a nutshell, that's the projects for this course. So who might ought to take this course? Certainly designers that want to become UX designers. Like if you're trying to embrace a user mindset and become a UX designer, then uh, this is certainly an a great stepping stone to really embracing that in a meaningful way. Um, certainly designers that just want to make better use of wireframes and prototypes, right? Maybe you're dabbling in it and you, you kind of suspect there could be more strategy, which there is much more strategy and meaning behind doing this. It's the kind of thing we kind of just don't think of 
until we sort of really start to analyze it. Once you do, you can really uh, turn these into a real productivity boom if you just put the thought process into it. So um, I'm kind of excited about the topic. Um, and then certainly those interested in designing any sort of digital interface, like you can't design good digital interfaces unless you're doing wireframes and prototypes. Like you have to explore the idea before programming it or doing the visual design. So um, certainly anybody that fits into any of these buckets. So I hope you join me. If you do decide to sign up, be sure to use promo code P McNeil, as you can see there. Um, it'll save you some money on your registration. And uh, certainly uh, look forward to uh, having you in one of the courses. And uh, I hope uh, you check it out.